Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dan Hop Realtors. Well, once again, I'm at the beautiful community of Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas. We're on the one acre side and the natural gas side of the community. And behind me is a house being built for one of my clients. It's a Grand Endeavor home and it's gonna be gorgeous. Let's see what it looks like as of 8 November, 2022. Let's go check it out. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know I absolutely love the community of Vintage Oaks. Just the amenities, the things to do in this area, and don't forget the property tax rate, which on the one acre side, I believe it's either 1.8 or 1.85. Anyway, it's crazy low compared to other parts of the greater San Antonio area where you're looking at twos to 2.5. So this is a really good bang for the buck if you're looking for a gorgeous community with crazy low property tax rates. But uh, I'm doing this video for my clients who are actually local because most i say that because most of my clients are coming from out of state but i still want to do these videos for them so they can show off to their friends and family just what this house looks like as of today let's head on inside all right these are going to be some gorgeous doors eventually but right now they've got builders doors on them they got the stucco going up so i see the uh it looks like more the stucco guy here just kind of pulled up next to my uh tiger 900 but yeah, let's head on inside. And I love the fact these guys went with the tall vaulted ceilings. This is gonna be such a grand entrance. And they paid extra to get the wall sliding doors. So right when you come in, you're gonna see a pass through view of this beautiful lot they have. Turning to our right, you're gonna have the office, which is also gonna have some really tall ceilings in it. But I love the fact that Grand Endeavor likes like army proofs this. Uh, forgive me for my army personnel, but if you, well, hell, if you're army, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be their big grand room, tall ceilings going into the kitchen. But uh, yeah, they've got the outlet in the floor. Let's kind of show you if they do things right, this is gonna be where outlet's gonna be right where the couches are at. But yeah, we'll put a huge TV right above the low horizontal fireplace so you're not looking straight up in the air. So that's going to be really nice. Looks like they're going to have some bookshelves on both sides. So yeah, super excited about that. All right, let's go venture off. These are going to be the secondary rooms. Let's see, we got, well, this is going to be kind of a open room, kind of a game room area just for the kids to go beat each other up in here and not be in the adult space. Or if uh, they want to set up an alternative TV room, they can do that too. Well, like I said, five bedrooms in this house. So lots of space. There's gonna be the closet. And it's nice that they can just all kind of come out, hang out here. If they set up a smaller TV, to just play video games there. That'd be cool. So they're not in your main living space. The other bedroom, kind of the same closet space, big, big windows. Uh, gonna be a bathroom. See, they got a tub, shower combo coming in. It's like a closet coming up. I know bedrooms are going down in order here because yeah, here's bedroom three. Bedroom three is gonna have its own window as well. And a little bit bigger closet, got a little bit of a mini walk-in closet there and it's going to share this bathroom with bedroom two so you're going to have your own sink set up here and then a door and then these two bedrooms will share the toilet and the mud inset shower right there i think that's right because I don't see a sink set up here. So maybe there will be a sink. No, that's gotta be the toilet right there. Walk-in closet for this bedroom. Bedroom number two here. And tall ceilings, eight foot doors throughout. So that's gonna be nice. It's kind of cool that they've got four bedrooms all on this wing of the house because the master bedroom, of course, is gonna be on the far other side of the house, away from everything. But yeah, let's go check out where this kitchen's gonna look like. It's gonna be a big island right here. 
And they kind of got it marked out on the floor where the cabinets are going to be, where the refrigerator is going to be. This is going to be a big old pantry. So plenty of space in that pantry. Your oven and microwave. Gas cooktop right behind the sink. So that's going to be nice. So if you need to pivot and uh, now you're at your sink with a big view of everything out in front of you. So that's going to be neat. The dining room space. And I absolutely love, love, love this giant single glass window showing off the backyard. Well, speaking of backyard, let's go take a look at it. All right, told you they are working on the stucco, so that's what you see going on here. On the other side of this fence, this is the edge of Vintage Oaks, but that is the preserve. And that's another community that Grand Endeavor is building these same homes on, but it's going to be all Grand Endeavor, which is owned by Jimmy Jacobs. But they just started putting in roads and stuff. So if you are thinking about moving to Texas and want a pick of your lots, uh, I'm going to be doing a future video on the preserves. Those are all going to be one acre lots too. So it's really not going to interfere with my client views of homes here because yeah, their houses are going to be kind of way on the other side of those trees as well. But if this lot is big enough that you can really just do whatever you want to do. If you want to put a pool in, you can. If you want to put a bigger shed back there, you can definitely do that. Make sure you check with the HOA. They kind of want, if you're doing those big man uh, space sheds, uh, they want it to look like the house. So yeah, get with the HOA first. You got two other doors coming back here, so you don't have to open up the whole wall sliding door if you don't want to. But man, right now, and fall in Texas is quite nice and it is a gorgeous day today. So a lot of people do open up their houses unless cedar kind of gets to you in the winter. <laughs> All right, let's look at this garage. This is gonna be a big three car garage and it is deep. And you've got another little nook out over there. So if you wanna have your workbenches, you still can and uh, no problem parking taller vehicles in this big garage or longer vehicles but if you're coming in from the garage you've got your mud room your utility room for your washer and dryer and then coming around you're going to have the master bedroom where you're going to have looks like a tray ceiling up top here but lots of windows lots of good views so you can look out your window and just see some the gorgeous Texas Hill Country. Love the fact that they're kind of planning ahead. Getting all kind of pre-wired make things so much easier once you start setting up your systems. But check out this bathroom and the closet. This is going to be enormous. Big, big bathroom here. Dual vanities, just tons of space that they got with this plan. And off the top of my head, I can't remember what plan they've got, but I'll check with it and I'll post that in the description box. Water closet. But with this plan, they had the option of making this a big, big walk-in closet, and they did. This is going to be awesome. Just so much space. You can really just kind of walk in here and just do whatever you want to. If you want to do your California closet, you definitely can. Do a little bench in the middle, you can do that too. And that's going to be awesome. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this house comes to pass. Oh, I almost forgot about showing you this. Big old car wash shower. It's like we're going to have two heads up top here. And a little bench right there. So this is going to be a, just, this bathroom is going to be the showcase of this house. Well, this whole house is a showcase. This is going to be awesome. I'm super happy for my clients. I'm glad. Uh, they bought their lot a couple years ago and started building it and Grand Endeavor it looks like they're doing a great job building this house and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to watching this house evolve into what their dreams are. 
All right, that's gonna wrap up the tour of this beautiful home being built by Grand Endeavor in Vintage Oaks. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And if you're interested in the preserve being built by Grand Endeavor, like I said, that's just getting started. So feel free to reach out to me if you got any questions about that. Great locations, beautiful homes, and some gorgeous lots. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and of course, I want you to share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.